I want to spend a little bit of time talking about why I hate Bumblebee Jasper. Before we get going, I think it's probably a good idea to articulate exactly what Bumblebee Jasper actually is. Bumblebee Jasper is a very unique and striking mineral that's been gaining in popularity over recent years, and I do understand why. It's got a vibrant yellow, orange, and black patterns that resemble the markings of a bumblebee, hence the name. However, there are very many important factors to consider when it comes to buying this mineral, including its composition, where it comes from, how much it's worth, and the potential dangers involved in mining it, and who is mining it. Bumblebee jasper is known as eclipse stone, or sometimes fumarolic jasper. It's a mixture of volcanic materials such as sulphur, arsenic, and various other minerals including zeolites, hematite, as well as gypsum on occasion. The exact composition of bumblebee jasper can vary from piece to piece, which can make it challenging to identify as well as authenticate. Bumblebee jasper is a relatively unisource product, and what I mean by that is it only really occurs in one place, which is the Indonesian island of Java, specifically in the region of West Java. It's formed in active volcano vents or fumaroles and can only be extracted through extremely dangerous and very challenging mining methods. Bumblebee jasper is considered to be quite rare and valuable, which can make it a quite expensive mineral. The price of bumblebee jasper can obviously vary widely depending on particular factors such as size, quality and current market demand, but some high-quality bumblebee jasper pieces have sold for thousands of dollars, making it an attractive target for illegal mining operations, especially in a country like Indonesia, where the mining industry is, let's just say, questionable. Mining bumblebee jasper can be incredibly dangerous due to the hazardous gases and materials that are actually present in the volcanic vents where the mineral is formed not to mention the composition of the mineral itself, most notably arsenic, which, let's just say, isn't good for you. Miners are exposed to toxic gases such as sulphur dioxide, as well as hydrogen sulphide, which can cause serious health problems if inhaled over extended periods. The mining process can also involve dangerous digging and blasting methods that have led to countless accidents and injuries over the years, which is not to mention that many of the people being used to dig this material up haven't even reached puberty. At this point in the video, it's probably already dawned on you why I don't like Bumblebee Jasper. In fact, I'm going to go a little bit further with my choice of adjective and say that I hate this stuff. It's why we don't buy it. We blanket ban Indonesia for ethical reasons more broadly, but even if we didn't, Bumblebee Jasper would still be off the menu, and this is why. Unfortunately, there have been numerous reports of child labour being used in bumblebee jasper mining operations in Indonesia. In fact, children as young as five years old have been found working in these mines, exposing themselves to toxic gases and hazardous materials. In fact, the use of child labour in mining operations is illegal, even in Indonesia, as well as unethical. This means it's crucial that consumers take steps to ensure that the products that they purchase are ethically sourced, which sadly, with Bumblebee Jasper, is almost impossible to vindicate. In conclusion, Bumblebee Jasper is a beautiful and valuable mineral that is found in the volcanic vents of West Java, Indonesia. However, it is crucial to understand the potential dangers involved in mining it and the importance of sourcing it ethically, something which is terribly difficult when it comes to Bumblebee Jasper. And I will be the first person to admit that bumblebee jasper is a really beautiful mineral. I just personally question whether or not that weight on my conscience as a result of buying it is actually worth it.